Color plays an integral part in the products that you design and produce. This is why it is important to make sure that you do everything you can to make the color communications as accurate and easy as possible. About 1 in 13 men and 1 in 300 women exhibit some type of color vision deficiency. It is critical for anyone involved with visual color evaluations to understand how accurately they can discriminate color. For over 60 years, the Farnsworth Munsell 100 Hue Test or FM100 Hue Test has been the standard for testing color discrimination and is capable of showing a person's strengths and weaknesses for evaluating color. Understanding this allows you to ensure that they can accurately evaluate and communicate color decisions with others. Let's take a closer look at how the test works and how to administer it. The FM100 Hue test consists of four trays containing 85 removable color reference caps in incremental hue variations spanning the visible spectrum. For each tray, the closer you are to the correct sequence, the better your color discrimination. One of the items that comes with the FM100 Hue test as well is a certificate of conformance which is coupled with your quick start guide in the test. The test results will reveal two things. First, for normal color vision, it reveals how well you discriminate different colors. Second, if you have a color vision defect, it identifies where your color confusion lies. The test must be taken under standardized lighting conditions, such as those found in the Spectralight QC or Judge QC light boost. We recommend that you use D65 or D50, depending upon your industry requirements. To administer the test, open one tray of colors and arrange the caps in a random order. Instruct the subject taking the test to arrange the caps according to color between the two end caps. They should not take too much time. If their eyes get tired, direct them to look at a neutral gray surface, such as the back of the light booth. Once the first tray is completed, place the cover on the tray. Provide the next tray to the individual taking the test. Continue this process until all four trays are completed. The test is then scored using the included FM100 Hue Test scoring software. To score the test, simply turn over the tray. Lift off the bottom panel from the tray. Take a look at the caps within the tray cover and then arrange the caps within the software so that they match the order in the tray cover. Repeat this process now for all the other trays. A final score will be displayed within the software along with a chart indicating what colors the subjects had problems discerning. When interpreting the results of the tests, if you notice that there are high spikes or anomalies in any of the color regions on the graph, this is showing areas where the individual had weaknesses in being able to discern subtle color differences in that color region. For a production or manufacturing technician, performing quality control, a score of 40 or lower is generally recommended. For an experienced colorist that is required to make critical color decisions, a score of 16 or lower is recommended. Testing should be done annually and scores should be recorded to determine how an individual's ability to discern colors is changing over time.